It was his gift, and he was the best. What I'm saying is just assume that this guy can hear and see everything that you're doing. He's a born tactician. Every move that he makes, it means something. That's a pawn being moved off the board. And if I were you, I'd be looking for the next piece. No, you can't stop him. What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Supreme Decisions. And today I want to talk about something that I've seen and I've also heard a lot more lately than usual, but it was something that I also experienced at one point. Um, and it's basically, what do you do when you have a party that doesn't show up? Or are you able to do a motion without actually writing it down? And that's what brings us to today it's doing an oral argument when the other party doesn't show up or in this case an oral motion what happens is you have a right to confront your accuser or and to confront the accusations against you and when that right is not able to be exercised because of things beyond your control you can file for a dismissal but generally the way you would do that would be when you see they're not there, you'll say, I'd like to make a oral motion in regards to a dismissal because the opposing party is not available. In these cases, a lot of times what has happened is a judge has granted a continuance without the access to, a, to the secondary party, which means both parties have to agree to the continuance. If one is not there, there can be no continuance. And this is also something that can be written up in a motion afterwards or as a follow-up motion. Because again, this takes away their ability um, from harmless error. It takes away their ability for covering their own ass. So keep that in mind. I like to make a motion to for dismissal as regard to the other party is not being available. So these charges cannot be satisfied as stated on their face and is either going to be granted or it's not and then after the proceeding you then write do it in writing because that is part of the exercise once you do it in writing you also make note of the judgment within your motion and then you file it because now that becomes your evidence when you are moving forward and it also allows for if you're going to answer another party to any potential lawsuits so that's all i got for today and today's episode is sponsored by cedric don't forget stop by the podcast become a monthly supporter as well as we have apple pay venmo cash app google pay paypal and zelle don't forget let's keep the support going let's keep us growing and i'll talk to you guys soon